Sean would face down here, and we are with uh, two of the guys from Up Mice and Men. What and up? You are? So I'm from Austin, I'm the lead singer. I'm Shayla Berger, I play bass and sing the cleans. Real singer. <laughs> now I'm going to skip the basic question I ever asked, what, how did you form your band name, whatever. So cool, we'll, that's great. We'll, we'll skip <laughs> that one. Uh, but how was it working with uh, with uh, Tom Denny from A Day to Remember, and what made you uh, decide to cover Lady Gaga's uh, Poker Face? Oh, wow. Well, that was forever ago. Uh, <laughs> it was good. We, we actually recorded the song um, in, in my room, and then uh, just sent it to him to master it. He mastered it, sent it back, and said, here you go. That was basically it. <laughs> nice. Uh, now, this one uh, may be a little uh, on, on the edgy, but... We'll ask it anyways. Um, has there been any hard feelings between the band and uh, Jerry Roush uh, since he was asked to leave? That's a skip question. Skip question. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Now, do you guys have any uh, pre-show rit- uh, pre-show rituals? Yes. We always go hands in. We, we celebrate. We, it varies from anything about the day, whether it be you know give it up for Austin for uh, doing a 360 backflip on skate. You know, like hey, it's just like, Tino for doing this. But that's like two seconds before we play. Yeah, we're just five minutes before then. We all stand around, get our hair wet. I take shots of whiskey. Usually only like two. And like thirty minutes before that, we stretch, change. Everyone and the manager comes on and says, "Stage call." And then we go on. And that's basically every night. It's the same thing. And like tonight, we have no idea what we're gonna uh, cheers to, but I guess we can call it a cheers. Yeah, we just put our hands in. We talk for like forty seconds, and then we cheers to something random, like we'll make up a word or we'll cheers to like. Say we just drank a certain thing or just ate some really good food. Yeah. It's most random thing. Excellent. Now, do you guys have a favorite place that you like to play shows at? Um, uh, I mean, when I played Caller, not Caller, excuse me, um, Chicago, I really like that I'm woke to it. The kids out there are just nuts about music and it's just very inspirational. Like, I really worked her, and I've never seen that crowd that was dedicated to see us in my life. So, like, that is one of my main places to play. Apart from California, because it's where I'm from, and I love, love playing California. That and Chicago are probably my two favorites. That's definitely California or Boston. Uh, every time I play Boston, it's really bad. I'm always getting a good response. It's just a good city, too. Now, uh, <clears throat> how, how do you guys handle un, un, unruly fans during a show if they try to cause a scene? Do you guys just keep playing, or do you call them out? <laughs> Some kids, like, even actually just our last show we just had last night, these two kids started a fight, like, right in front of me. So I just jumped off the stage, and I kicked one of them, and then I, like, broke it up, and I was like, you know, don't fight at our show. Like, don't fight at, you know, you know this isn't like a yeah, this is heavy a metal show, or like a straight-edge show, or like a VK strain or something. Like, yeah, go to those shows and hit each other, and... You know, fight people, but not on our show, man. Uh, we, we try to send a positive message, and that's just yeah. not positive, beating each other up over just, oh, that guy swung and accidentally hit me, so I'm going to beat the shit up. No, get yeah. the hell out of here. Yeah, just, it was here. an accident. And, you know, me, I have a problem with kids yeah. flooding on stage and knocking stage them on their stand, so I've got, gotten to the point where I'm, yeah, I may be a little dick because they're coming on, so I just go... As hard well, as I can, I'm sorry. Can move. When a kid's stage dive and fall on the stage, for me, like, they roll off the monitor, for me, I can move. And then for him, though, he's singing of a partner. Kid was yeah, rolling right, his yeah. ankles. Rolling I'm worried his about, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hurt his hands. Chip my too. tooth once, like it's just like. Geez, so I, uh, I kind of stand by him. Like kids are coming. I'll either move them away. If I'm not there, I'll just see him kind of like pushing them away. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like a bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, kind of. And we also have a stage guy too that helps tries to help him out. I mean, like, yeah. sometimes it gets bad. <laughs> Now, do you guys do anything different when preparing for shows at high altitudes, like here in Denver? No. Oh. Well, I mean, I never. I mean, I I used to live here, well, not in Denver, but a couple hours from here. And that's like the biggest thing is come from normal altitude, you come to the high altitude, and it's like, oh, can't breathe, and you know, you get dehydrated and drink. I hear water, every band when they're on stage complaining about the altitude. Yeah. I just caught my know. ears. Actually, the last time I was here, though, I got dehydration and I was throwing up all day. Like, so will we stay here for a while? No, this was on work tour. Like, I was just puking. I had threw up on stage like 20 times. Like, Ooh. I was just like, miserable. Because I drank heavily the night before, so it just didn't work out. <laughs> and I forgot we were coming to Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll throw a, a, a fun question out here. Uh, who's your favorite band of all time? Oh, jeez. <laughs> favorite band of all time? I don't know if I can answer that. That's such a hard time. Time. Yeah. I mean, like, my favorite band. The band that I connected the most growing up in my time is Deftones, but it varies from like Led Zeppelin, just 
all over the place, emoji heap, you know. But Deftones definitely like, and he, as a singer, he inspired me to be vulnerable as a singer. I guess if that makes any sense. Not be as tough, hold back a little bit, and just show your uh, your softness, your soft side as a singer. So I really appreciate him as a singer. Yeah, they're actually coming in town twice with Dillinger Escape Plan. Dillinger? Yeah, we're going to be yeah. interviewing Dillinger. Dillinger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah, just stop. Just stop where you're going. I'm going to cry. I love it. Told you they couldn't on that show. Yeah, we, we actually saw the uh, chariot and those guys were hanging from the rafters and I stuff. Can't. And I told her, I said, wait till you see Dillinger. They, they they're go. nuts. Oh my god, they're nuts. Yeah, they're it's awesome. Amazing. It's like a... It's now, how, how do you guys cope uh, from being away from friends and family while you guys are on tour? We don't. We, don't. we go crazy and get depressed. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, start, it starts out like the first week is like all you know, fun and games, but then like you know, it's like when you're home, you want to be on tour. When, when you're on tour, you want to be on home. It's like just a vicious cycle of yeah. missing things. Now, do you guys have any advice for uh, any aspiring bands just starting out that want to try to get to the spot where you guys are at? Um, stay at school, first of all. Don't give up anything that will affect you 40 years from now for music like that. Like, to do that, I mean, music is great. Music is going to be everything. But, you know, I think when kids are like, I'm going to drop out of school be a rock star. No, you're not. You're going to drop out of school, get signed to a label, and then be broke for four years, and then maybe you'll get it. Or maybe you'll do it, you know, but... So you have to love it. You have to really love it because you have to give up a lot. To do it. You have to give up family yeah, stuff, your friends stuff. Yeah. Like me, I have nothing. He has nothing. We're, I'm homeless. He's homeless. Like it's just. Yeah. This is my home. I like the, my, the more I tour, the more I have a home. When I'm home, it's just like okay, shit. Can I call these mom stay? You know, for like just two days. Just two days. I swear. And then I try to push it when I'm not there for two days. For five days, and she ends up kicking me out. It's just you know. But yeah. My advice is, uh, it's one out of a hundred. So, well, you know, one out of a thousand. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're doing it. I have no complaints. I'm not going to complain, but, you know, we're headlining a show tonight and on the bus, and it's still like, we're not rich, man. We're not loaded. We're not rock stars. We, you know, we get, but, like, put, put it this way, and this is something that kids do not get. We get paid less than minimum wage. We just, you way know, less. I mean, we do get paid a lot. <laughs> yeah, way less. We get paid a lot, sure. but it all goes into, uh, Funds or uh, yeah. merch guy, bus, tour merch, manager, stuff breaks management, down. booking, the bus label, uh, everything, Eight, everything uh, management. Oh my god! <laughs> so we just uh, we get a they throw us a bone. Yeah, there was a bone. Throw us a bone or two here yeah. and there, and we're just like, cool. We got two hundred bucks to yeah. go home to for a month. Yeah. Yes, I don't have a cell phone. That means but I have food. That means I can buy really some ramen. And then or computer. You don't have a computer either. If you're lucky. It rules your life. <laughs> And last but not least, uh, what's in store for you guys? Any new videos, albums, any other tours you can tell us about coming up? Yeah. Side projects? We have um, a new song from a new record coming out here in a couple weeks. And then about a month after that or so, um, we're having a new, another new song come out with a music video. We actually already shot the music video. They're working on all the stuff for it right now. Um, and then our album comes out June 14th, I believe. Um, somewhere mid-June, about two weeks before we'll tour. It's called The Flood. Um stoked on it like I think it's going to be really good I'm actually so. proud proud of it he sings a lot more mm-hmm. on it and we wrote a lot more parts that were involved around him on it um lot better screaming different parts well, heavier more riffy parts we it's wrote it together that's yeah. the thing it was, first uh, album wasn't it that. was kind of thrown together you know giving up I think it was the day before two days I two, days before, two days before you went to the studio or three days before he you know agreed and said you know what let's just do this let's get back together and let's fucking let's, let's rock the world and then the day, the day of we left the studio was the first day I seen him in probably about a, almost a year oh, and a half. Yeah. And I met my new guitar player right then and there. Hello. <laughs> hey, you're so sweet. Cool. Yeah. Luckily, he turned out to be a fucking amazing person. I was yeah, so awesome. excited about that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it was really cool to. Uh, oh, she she's heard first. I, I totally forgot about that. It's on you. She's totally. in her world, man. She had a shot at <laughs> She was growing up in a tattoo shop. And she oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, yeah, like, it was really cool to, to become a unit and write a record together. Unlike the other record, which was I replaced somebody and he took the slack from him. And, had and he just it. had to write what we had. 
you know, no lyrics or vocals there, but we just had the music already set. So he did, he had to write his words and stuff to music that was already there. And so he could put his opinions in and just whatever he wanted. And in this one, we got to write songs that revolved around him, did songs that he wrote 100% of, you know, stuff like that. And then, so I'm stoked. It's a lot more melodic. It's a lot prettier. And at the same time, it's way heavier, way yeah, sicker, the way key meaner. Word, the key word that is overused, but I think we need the album. It's going to make sense. It's a lot more mature. I hate when bands say that, but it is. But it truly is. Yeah, they put a lot of effort. Can you yeah. say that's your own Judish? Yeah, the Jew. The Flood. Jew 14, right? I think Jew 14, but you never know. I keep getting mixed up Jew 14 and 16, but I know it's one of those two. <laughs> I know Jew. for a fact it's a. It's in June. It's a it's even number. It's one of those days, but it's in June. <laughs> All right, I do appreciate you awesome. guys taking thank the time you, out. Of course, dude. Yeah, thank you so much. Definitely a pleasure. Uh, if you guys have not checked these guys out, definitely check them out, especially when the new album comes out. Face Down is out.